Listen up, fellow Stoics of the digital age. You've stumbled upon a golden treasure. And no, I'm not talking about the latest viral video or meme. If you've ever found yourself scrolling through social media, sighing at the pressures of today's world, wondering why you can't just let things go, or simply wanting to care a tad bit less about every little thing than you, my friend, is in the right place. You see, long before our modern day challenges, some brilliant chaps known as the Stoics live their lives based on principles that, believe it or not, can teach us how to master the art of not giving too much care. Ironic, isn't it, that ancient wisdom can guide our smartphone-filled, caffeine-driven lives? Over the next bit of your time, you're going to discover 10 simple yet profoundly transformative stoic principles. Principles so refreshing they might just be the antidote to the chaos that is 21st century life. And hey, if you want to be the first to uncover more pearls of wisdom like these, go ahead and smack that notification bell and subscribe. What's the worst that could happen? You gain some wisdom. Dare you even to take that step. Welcome to the enlightening world of Stoicism, where old meets new and where we get schooled in the art of keeping calm and carrying on. Now shall we dive in? Principles 1. Recognize life's natural cycles. Recognize life's natural cycles of loss, whether it's losing a beloved jacket, a cherished memory, or a loved one always brings an indescribable sense of pain. At that moment, we may feel like life no longer has meaning. However, as the words of Marcus Aurelius have expressed, loss is not a bad thing, but even an essential part of our process of change and growth. In other words, change is an inevitable part of life and cannot be avoided. We can compare life to a vast ecosystem where everything has its season. Trees shed leaves to grow new ones, and we also must face endings and beginnings in our lives. Each ending is an opportunity for learning and growth, and each beginning is a chance for development and change. Instead of clinging to what is past, Stoic philosophy encourages us to appreciate the impermanence of life. Life is always in motion and flux, and our ability to embrace and accept these changes helps us live fully. We should cultivate deep love not only for those around us, but also for ourselves. And when it's time to let go, we should do it decisively. Like welcoming a new dawn, life continues and we should continue our journey with courage and openness to the inevitable. Imagine you are a sports enthusiast and have a beloved bicycle that you've used for many years. This bike has accompanied you on many journeys and has become an important part of your daily life. However, one day you lose the bike in a theft. The loss of this bike initially brings deep pain and regret. You may feel like you've lost a part of yourself. However, after some time, you begin to see this loss differently. You seize the opportunity to buy a new bike, perhaps a model that is more advanced and suits your current needs better. You also learn to evaluate the true value of physical possessions and find joy in life, not based on them. The loss of the bike is an unwanted change, but it also marks a new beginning. What's important is that you learn from this experience and allow it to shape your life and perspective in a more positive way rather than clinging to the past. Principles 2. Understand and accept fate. I don't suggest that you blindly accept everything, but as Epictetus pointed out, don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do happen. Life with its countless complexities is a combination of our efforts and the design of the universe. Sometimes, despite our utmost efforts, the results don't lean in our favor. But instead of being defeated by things not going as planned, Stoic philosophy advises us to accept what has happened. Ultimately, the most captivating stories often stem from unexpected changes. Stoic philosophy is not about completely eliminating all desires or the desire to bring about positive changes in our lives. Instead, it proposes that we should focus on what we can control and accept what we cannot. This helps us reduce stress and anxiety caused by uncertainty and unwanted circumstances. Seize the opportunity in unexpected changes. Use them as opportunities to learn and grow. Sometimes unexpected challenges can lead to new opportunities and offer valuable lessons that we couldn't find in the original plan. Life is often full of surprises, and facing unexpected changes is a part of life. How we deal with these changes and learn from them can make life more worth living and meaningful. Imagine you had planned a weekend camping trip 
and meticulously prepared for it. You packed clothing, food, and activity plans. However, when you arrived at the destination, the weather began to change, and it started raining. Your camping plans were almost completely canceled. Instead of getting discouraged and disappointed, you decided to adapt. You and your group decided to arrange activities indoors instead of outdoors. You had an interesting encounter with the local people and experienced things you didn't anticipate. Everyone in the group felt joyful, and in the end your trip became a memorable experience. Despite the unexpected weather change. Principles 3. Detach from external validation. In the modern world, our lives have become a vibrant stage of online connectivity and interaction with every like, share, and comment on social media platforms. We tend to seek validation from the outside, defining our worth through public recognition. However, have we considered carefully enough the caution of placing too much emphasis on these small symbols on the screen? To understand this consideration, let's turn to the thoughts of Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher known for his wisdom. He wrote, man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. With these words, he emphasizes the importance of focusing on what is real and genuinely significant in life, rather than getting caught up in imaginary anxieties and futile expectations. Stoic philosophy provides us with guidance in seeking validation from within. Instead of relying on online fame, we should measure our self-worth through our values, actions, and personal character. This requires self-awareness, the ability to make independent decisions, and the capacity for honest self-assessment. The next time your post doesn't receive the attention you hoped for, or someone sends you a private message with mocking comments, remember that your value is not determined by the public. You are the judge and reconciler of yourself. Don't let the symbols on the screen dictate your mood and self-perception of worth. Instead, find confidence and contentment from deep within, based on the principles and values you have built in your life. Imagine you are a scientific researcher, and you have spent months or years working on an incredibly important research project. After completing the project, you decide to share the results on social media to receive feedback from the scientific community and the public. You hope it will be well received and widely shared. However, after posting the article, you are disappointed to see fewer likes and shares than you expected. Moreover, some people comment with unfavorable opinions and offer sarcastic criticisms of your research. In this situation, you can rely on Stoic philosophy to objectively assess yourself with Stoic thinking. You can become self-aware of your true value and not let online symbols erode your confidence. You can continue to strive and not let negative feedback affect your motivation in contributing to science. Principles 4. Seek growth in adversity. Have you ever faced a challenge? It could be the frustration of dealing with a difficult boss, an endless stack of bills, or a perpetually delayed subway. It's easy to complain and wish for a slightly friendlier life. However, Seneca once declared difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Consider challenges as personal mental workouts. When faced with difficulty, instead of asking, why me? Reflect on what this is teaching you. Every challenge carries a lesson potential for growth. It's a matter of perspective. If Stoic philosophers existed today, they might say, bring it on. Challenges are not just trials. They're opportunities for us to understand ourselves better and grow. They help us cultivate patience, perseverance, and adaptability by viewing challenges as a natural part of life. We can learn and become more resilient. In fact, these challenges make life more diverse and interesting. Imagine you're a new employee at a large tech company working on an important project. Your boss is demanding, expecting high results. During the process, you encounter many difficulties, including time pressure, a heavy workload, and pressure from colleagues. Instead of just complaining and feeling discouraged, you decide to see these challenges as opportunities to develop time management, organization, and the ability to work under pressure. You learn to work more efficiently, find ways to collaborate with colleagues, and importantly, improve stress management skills. As a result, you not only successfully complete the project, but also become stronger in facing challenges in work and life. This proves that difficulties can be opportunities for development and growth. 
Remember that everyone in the world faces challenges in their lives. What's important is how we cope with them and learn from them. Success is not about avoiding difficulties, but the ability to overcome them with strength and wisdom. Principles 5. Reflect, Review, and Realign. The world around us is always bustling and full of turmoil, never pausing to let us catch our breath. But in this life, we should remember the words of Marcus Aurelius, that our happiness does not depend on external events, but on the quality of our thoughts. The important thing is that we can create a peaceful space in our imagination, even if it's just for a moment. Our frequent reflections are a mirror of the soul. They reflect our mood, thoughts, and knowledge. Therefore, take some time each day for self-examination to look into your soul and understand yourself better. This helps us recognize our own patterns, adjust the path we are pursuing, and refresh our perspective on the world. Consider it as a regular update for your life system. Reflect on your actions, not only to evaluate yourself and failures, but also to learn from mistakes. Celebrate small victories because they are steps forward in your journey. Imagine you are in a stressful situation at work and things are not going smoothly. You can choose to react by blaming and resenting everyone around you, or by finding constructive solutions. By choosing a positive attitude and focusing on finding solutions, you can create a peaceful space in your soul. At the same time, you can improve your work environment and achieve more positive results. This demonstrates the power of applying wisdom and positive thinking to bring about positive changes in your daily life. These principles do not require us to become cold or unemotional. They simply guide us on how to cultivate patience in life. Live in the present and lead a purposeful and meaningful life by understanding ourselves and facing life with a spirit of resilience. We can open the door to true peace and happiness. Principle 6. Embrace the inevitability of change and reshape your narrative. In the grand symphony of life, this principle invites you to embrace the profound inevitability of change. Just as the seasons transform and the tides of the ocean ebb and flow, recognize that change is an inherent part of our existence. Instead of resisting the natural course of evolution, empower yourself to reshape the narrative of your journey. Understand that, like the chapters of a book, each phase brings its own unique lessons and opportunities for growth. Whether faced with unexpected challenges or welcome transitions, view them as threads woven into the intricate fabric of your life. By embracing change, you not only navigate the currents with grace but also actively participate in the co-creation of your narrative. Consider the ever-evolving nature of your story as a canvas, inviting you to paint with resilience, adaptability, and an unwavering commitment to self-discovery. In doing so, you harness the transformative power of change to sculpt a life that reflects your truest aspirations. As you embark on this journey of perpetual transformation, may you find solace and empowerment in the knowledge that change is not a force to be feared, but a catalyst for your ongoing evolution. Principle 7. Control what's within, release what's without. Imagine this. It's a rainy Tuesday morning, and just as you're about to enjoy your perfect cup of tea, your cat knocks it over. Your initial reaction might involve blaming the cat or feeling the universe is against you. But here's a stoic insight. We suffer more in imagination than in reality, as the legendary Seneca said. The truth is, things happen. Tea spills. Cats misbehave. What's within our control? Our reactions. Instead of painting a gloomy day ahead, we can choose to laugh it off and brew another cup. The world will keep throwing curveballs, but the power of our reactions is solely ours. So, the next time your Wi-Fi acts up or your pizza arrives cold, take a deep breath. It's not the cold pizza that disturbs us, but our interpretation of it. Principles 8. Embrace the present moment. Marcus Aurelius once mused, Do not let the future disturb you for you will arrive there if you nurture your present. It's the 21st century. We have notifications, binging every second, and our thoughts raced faster than our internet speed. Yet what do we often miss the now? Remember those days you walked in the park, but your mind was lost in tomorrow's tasks? Or those family dinners where your thoughts drifted to past regrets? 
The Stoics teach us that today this very moment is a gift. So why squander it worrying about the past or future? Being present isn't just about paying attention. It's about truly experiencing life. Savoring your meals, listening to your friends and feeling the wind on your face. Let go of yesterday's regrets and tomorrow's anxieties. In the grand tapestry of life, it's the little moments stitched together that define our happiness. Principles 9. Accept change as nature's course. Have you ever noticed how effortlessly seasons change winter's frost melts to give spring its bloom? Yet when faced with life's alterations, be it a job switch, a breakup, or a move, we resist. As Epictetus wisely put it, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Life is ever-changing as fluid as the River Thames. Fighting against the current is exhausting. Embracing it, that's where freedom lies. Life's nature is evolution. Just as Rome wasn't built in a day, you too are a masterpiece in progress. Every change, every twist and turn, adds a unique brush stroke to your canvas. So, the next time you're faced with an unexpected detour, remember it's all part of the grand design. Principles 10. Be of service to others. We live in a world full of opportunities and potential to make a difference. As Seneca advised, we do not exist independently, but we are all connected through a spiritual partnership. Stoicism is not just about understanding oneself and personal development, but also about improving the community around us. By helping others, we not only make their lives richer and more meaningful, but also add depth and significance to our own lives. Whether it's assisting neighbors in times of difficulty, volunteering to contribute to community development, or simply being there for friends in challenging moments, every kind act we perform has an impact and ripples through the vast universe. Imagine on a beautiful day you see your neighbor Mary, struggling with gardening instead of just looking away. You decide to offer help. You and Mary work together in the garden chat and have a joyful morning. This action not only helps Mary complete her work faster, but also shows your care and willingness to assist. More importantly, it creates a harmonious spirit in the neighborhood and affirms that we can make a difference in someone's life through small actions. Remember that it's not just about self-development, but also the ability to uplift others on this journey. We have the power to make the world a better place, not only by becoming a better version of ourselves, but also by spreading passion and compassion to those around us. Principles 11. Cultivate inner riches. In the present age, we are witnessing the strong presence of Instagram pages and other social media platforms where people often showcase their wealth and material achievements in a flashy manner. In this context, it's easy for us to place our happiness in extravagant possessions and the latest convening masses. However, the insights of ancient philosophers like Seneca offer a different perspective. Seneca asserted that wealth is not always measured by advanced technological devices or top fashion brands. True wealth lies in our souls, in the ability to enjoy life deeply and profoundly. It's the satisfaction of the soul, the richness of memorable experiences, and the treasure of cherished memories. Imagine a friend who has a journey filled with memorable experiences across different countries and shares fascinating stories about the places they've been to. They may not have many possessions or material wealth, but they possess a priceless treasure of memorable experiences and beautiful memories. While you may have many expensive possessions and modern conveniences, when you hear your friend talk about their journey and how they enjoy life, you realize that true wealth is not in what you own, but in the ability to appreciate and savor every moment in life. Stoic philosophers remind us that enjoying the comforts of life is good, but we should not let these comforts become conditions for our happiness. Instead of getting caught up in the endless pursuit of material wealth, we should focus on building stories, relationships, and spiritual values. Ultimately, the stories and outcomes we create in life are the things of true value, not the amount of money in our accounts or the quantity of possessions we own. Dear friends, as we conclude this journey of exploration through the sacred halls of Stoic philosophy, I cannot help but reflect on how these classical principles seem to fit perfectly into our vibrant, modern lives. This shows that some truths are truly eternal, isn't it? 
Now I have a small challenge for all of you in the comments below. I would like you to share which Stoic principle has impressed you the most. Is it the wisdom of Seneca that moved you? Or is it Marcus Aurelius who resonated with you? Let's start this conversation so that we can learn from each other. But wait, before you step into the world with this newfound Stoic wisdom, I have a small request. If you have found even a little value today, a bit of wisdom, or simply enjoyed our time together, please consider subscribing to the channel, giving a big thumbs up to this video, and turning on the notification bell. Not because the numbers matter, but so that we can continue the dance of sharing wisdom and growth. Life is a journey with challenges and surprises, but with the right mindset and a sprinkle of stoic wisdom, it can become a very exciting adventure. Embrace the art of letting go and live with intention and passion until our next uniquely wonderful rendezvous. Keep the flame of curiosity burning and the stoic spirit alive. Goodbye and see you in the next video.